morning from Bodh Gaya, the most uh, holy place on the earth, where all the thousand Buddhas of uh, this era <coughs> attains enlightenment, and especially our own Buddha Shakyamuni, who has attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree here. So I'm speaking from Bodh Gaya. <coughs> Dhamma has requested for me to speak a little bit about the Jaran Chesamongo and the Rime tradition and the importance of all the works that uh, Jaran Chesamongo has done being translated into uh, foreign languages, particularly in English. Um, <clears throat> so I'm taking this opportunity to uh, just say how wonderful this project is and also thank Gaucho uh, and Joma and all of the people who are working uh, for this project. Now, <clears throat> Jain Chinsa Mongbo is uh, uh, believed to be a emanation of Manjushri and Manjushri and Avalokiteshwara uh, and uh, Bajrapani, the three Riksu Mugombo, the three class <coughs> of the body, speech, and mind of the all enlightened uh, beings uh, manifested in the form of uh, Manjushri is uh, the speech and um, Manjushri as we read the biographies um, of many great teachers uh, have really it seems like uh, been <coughs> uh, the deities of the teachers, like Arya Nagarjuna and uh, uh, so on and so on. And um, also, it seems like uh, Manjushri has uh, uh, over the like, 2,500 years have uh, reincarnated <coughs> in the human form to do the works of the Buddha Shakyamuni's uh, uh, teachings to be widely propagated all around the world and uh, and been uh, immense benefit to all the living beings. And particularly <coughs> in the case of uh, Jain Chenzo Mongo, uh, it is very well known throughout all of the uh, four lineages or eight lineages of uh, uh, Tibetan Vajrayana Buddhists that Jain uh, Chenzo uh, is the emanation of uh, Manjushri himself and um, as well as also um, King, King Tisong Betsen and uh, also Nari um, Bandita Dhamma Wangi Jabo so, as the king, Tisong Jatsen, uh, took the, you know, such a, a wonderful task of bringing Guru Padmasambhava and uh, Shantarakshita to Tibet to really uh, make the snow land of Tibet uh, a holy place and a place of Dharma, where the Dharma has for last. years being um, uh, preserved and uh, well um, flourished, um, King Tizun Detsen was uh, the kind of um, doer of that. And, um, and of course, uh, you know, when you read the Guru Muche's uh, Nantar or the biography, there's a lot of dialogues between Guru Muche and uh, King Tisong Tetsen about the future of Tibet and the future of the Dharma in Tibet. And so it seems like <coughs> King Tisong Tetsen is always not only concerned in his lifetime what the Dharma is going to be in Tibet, but in the uh, generations and in the future how the Dharma is going to be uh, preserved and well um, uh, kept and flourish in Tibet. So with that, 
<coughs> then we can say <coughs> he had an immense care for the Dharma to be uh, flourished and uh, preserved in Tibet and in this therefore then I'm sure uh, he has reincarnated um, many times in Tibet and, uh, and of course in Noble Land of India but in Tibet we have the tradition of recognizing the uh, reincarnation so we have the uh, tradition of preserving the kind of um, <coughs> lineage of the reincarnations um, and um, so Mari Pandita Pemawangi Jago is uh, one of the most uh, cherished and a great uh, scholar and a, a master and realized beings. <clears throat> it seems like he's one of the first in reading of the biographies uh, who went his way to collect um, all of the treasures and all of the kind of um, uh, <clears throat> teachings from the different lineages that he could possibly get from um, all of the strains of the Vajrayana lineage that came to Tibet. And um, so I would think that, you know, he's the one who sort of started the kind of Rime tradition in that way, in receiving. But then in propagating, I think, not only in receiving, but propagating and uh, also giving the initiations and transmissions and teachings to others, I think, um, then Chanzo did an immense great work in that way. Um, and uh, Jayan Chinsa Wambu was uh, helped and, uh, and um, assisted by Jambu uh, Kolo and um, as we know how close they were and also the Chinsu Jurimba and Jambu Nakamuche and also uh, uh, there were many great masters in that uh, time I think it was in the 17th, early 18th centuries, and um, it was a wonderful time. So his works are going to be somewhat, <coughs> most probably in volumes, about uh, 30 volumes or something like that, I hear. And I think it's a huge task to be translating all of them, all of the sadhanas and all of the teachings and all of the, um, that is in the, his collection collection of his work. So I really uh, immensely appreciate uh, that uh, uh, Dr. Moche has uh, initiated and Dom has overseen the, the work of uh, this uh, uh, body of uh, uh, very, very important available in the English language and then in all the other languages because <coughs> the great enlightened beings they reincarnate for the benefit of the Dharma being preserved for the future generations and to bring benefits to the beings by Dharma being made available so if it's not in your own language if it's in a foreign language Yes, of course, you could study the <coughs> foreign language and you could do some uh, readings, but I don't know how much you could uh, do uh, uh, in-depth studies and in-depth uh, uh, readings. But if it is in your own language, then as you're very uh, accustomed to reading and reading fast and comprehending and uh, understanding, so it would be really uh, much more accessible and therefore then the imprint is going to be there. And as Sakya Bandita have said, as much as our hearing wisdom that you could accumulate in this lifetime, it is going to be like uh, in, in lifetimes. Um, you could always have it in your alia or in your uh, <coughs> subconscious available for you to sort of like uh, uh, 
know it again and again or or just with a little help of healing uh, you could kind of like uh, just as like you have been uh, gone away uh, and then you have left something with a, uh, your friend and then when you return you know that thing is yours and it's uh, just as yours it's available for you so it's going to be something like that so in that way it will be an immense benefit for the people who have interest in the dharma and people who have longing to study the dharma in depth and especially the works of a great master like the ancient zombo and the that also not just in one uh, particular uh, strain of the vajrayana lineage but in all eight strains of the vajrayana lineage that came to tibet so it's going to be really wonderful wonderful and i immensely